hello everyone in this video we are going to study uh, regarding the design of open well staircase in the previous video we have uh, seen regarding the design of dog legged staircase uh, so let us see the problem now uh, design an open well staircase uh, like uh, they have said us to design a middle flight having steps of size 280 mm by 150 mm the live load is 3 kN per meter square and the flow finish is 0.5 kN per meter square the arrangement of stair is as shown in figure we have to use m20 and a4415 stair so this is the figure what they have given so like this is the masonry or beams what we have on this support as a support then next if you see landing is 1400 going 2800 1400 we have 3000 is the support width similarly now they have said us like uh, this is how our uh, steps are going so we have ab we have the next is this is bc we have the next cd we have so they have said us to design this middle flight so if you see the dimensions of this this is 300 mm 1400 1400 1400 and 300 mm width we have so let us try to design this portion bc of the open well staircase so riser is 150 mm tread is 280 mm live load is 3 kN per meter square flow finish is 0.5 fck is 20 f of i is 415 based on this data let us try to design a staircase now so first let us try to calculate the effective span so effective span of this middle flight so that is equal to here if you see center to center distance between the support so from this center till this center that is 1400 1400 1400 at the top we have 300 so therefore 300 by 2 here and 300 by 2 here so that is what we will write 300 by 2 plus 1400 plus 1400 plus 1400 plus 300 by 2 so therefore we are going to get effective span as 4.5 meters then next is let us uh, assume the waste slab thickness as 50 mm per meter length so therefore 50 multiplied by the span that is 4.5 meters so we will be getting d as 225 mm so let us assume overall depth as 230 mm and effective depth as 200 mm leaving the effective cover of 30 mm then next is let us try to calculate the load per uh, meter width of the of uh, slab on the going so first let us try to calculate the self weight of the waste slab already we have seen this formula d into square root of r square plus t square divided by t multiplied by 25 d is nothing but the overall thickness of the waste slab r is riser t is tread if you substitute we will get answer as 6.523 kN per meter next is weight of steps that is equal to half into r into t divided by t multiplied by density th that is 25 so riser 150 tread 280 if you substitute we'll get answer as 1.875 kN per meter flow finish is 0.5 kN per meter and live load as 3 kN per meter so if you are going to add up all the loads then total load on the waste slab will be equal to 6.523 that is uh, uh, load of waste slab plus weight of the steps plus flow finish plus live load so if you are going to add up all this we will get answer as 11.9 kN per meter so if you want to calculate the factored load multiplied by 1.5 so you will be getting answer as 17.85 kN per meter then next let us try to calculate the load on the landing per meter width so self weight of that landing will be 0.23 that is thickness multiplied by the density per meter that is 5.75 floor finish as 0.5 live load as 3 so if you are going to add up this load we will be getting as 9.25 kN per meter so if you take factored load it will be Uh, multiplied by 1.5 that will be 13.875 kN per meter so based on that loading if you this is the uh, loading we have that is 13.875 
that is a landing load so here also 13.875 landing load and uh, the this is 17.85 this is the load on the going right so this span is 1.55 1.4 1 1.55 this is 1.4 so total span is 4.5 meters so first what we have to do is we have to calculate the support reactions so how we can calculate that is uh, as this is symmetric so total load what is going to come so that will be distributed on this point a and b equally it is distributed so therefore 13.875 multiplied by 1.5 for you plus 17.8 for you multiplied by 1.4 plus 13.875 for you multiplied by 1.5 for you so that will be the total load which is going to come divided by 2 means we are going to get the reaction at A as well as reaction at B then next is based on this uh, we have to calculate the moment at the center that is reaction RA into distance that is 1.5 for you plus 1.4 divided by 2 plus clockwise we have then next is we have to calculate this moment due to this force that will be anti-clockwise therefore minus 13.875 for you multiplied by 1.55 that is the distance multiplied by distance from center of this loading to this point therefore this will be equal to 1 multiplied by that is 1.55 divided by 2 plus 1.4 divided by 2 then next is moment due to this portion that is 17.85 multiplied by 1.4 divided by 2 that is only half distance we have multiplied by 1.4 divided by 4 so if you calculate we are going to get bending moment as 36.09 kN meter as well as if you calculate shear force we will be getting 34 kN so based on this we have to provide the reinforcement so before that we have to check for the section whether it is uh, within the limits so limiting moment will we have to find out 0.138 fck bd square so limiting moment is 110 and our moment which is coming is 36.09 so limiting moment is greater than mu so therefore we can design it as a singly reinforced section so therefore depth required will be equal to mu divided by 0.138 fck bd square root of that so d required will be 114 mm as we have provided effective depth of 200 mm so therefore we have satisfied this depth criteria then next is we will do the area calculation so based on the moment previously what we had calculated this moment we will try to provide the reinforcement so if you substitute in the formula that is 0.5u into fck divided by f of y into bracket of 1 minus square root of 1 minus 4.5u 9 or 4.6 into mu divided by fck bd square multiplied by b into d in that formula if you substitute fck bd and mu so we will be getting answer as 5 30 mm square so if you are going to assume 10 mm dia bar based on that if you are going to calculate the spacing that is area of one bar that is pi by 4 into 10 square divided by 5 30 multiplied by 100 so we will be getting answer as 130 approximately 130 mm distance so therefore we are going to provide 10 mm dia about 130 mm center to center then next based on this what we have provided if you calculate the area of seal provided that will be equal to 603 mm square so based on that if you calculate the percentage of steel this will be 0.3 percentage already all these things once uh, already we have done many a times same thing has to be done here also then next we have to calculate the distribution steel that is 0.12 percentage of b into d that is capital d gross area so therefore minimum requirement is 276 mm square so if we are going to assume 8 mm dia bar so we will be getting approximately spacing as 175 mm center to center then next we have to check for deflection that is tau v is equal to vu by b into d vu is 34 into 10 raised to 3 divided by b is 1000 d is 200 so we will be getting as 0.17 newton per mm square this is less than 2.8 mm square therefore we need not revise any section then next uh, we have to check whether we have to provide shear reinforcement so we have to calculate the percentage of steel that will be coming around 0.3 percentage based on that if you calculate tau c value it is 0.38 
so tau c is greater than tau v so therefore what happens is that this section is safe in shear if it is less we have to provide the shear steel as in the slabs we usually don't provide then we need to redesign the section then next is we have to check for deflection so l by d max is equal to l by d basic multiplied by kc kt and kf so l by d basic already we know it is 20 so we have to calculate fs so that is 0.58 into f of y into ast required by ast provided so based on this we will be getting answer as 211 newton per mm square so based on this uh, let us try to calculate kt coefficient that is for tension steel that is equal to we will be getting one uh, we have to refer as 456 from that we will be coming uh, we will be getting 1.6 for percentage of steel of 0.3 this kc and kf it will be 1 itself so if you calculate this l by d uh, maximum that is 20 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied by 1 by 1 so we will be getting answer as 32 and l by d actual what we have provided that is equal to 4500 divided by 200 so we will be getting answer as 22.5 so which is less than l by d maximum so therefore our section is satisfying the deflection criteria so based on this now we have to provide the reinforcement this has the main reinforcement and this has the distribution steel so therefore if you see this is the flight we have so this is how the reinforcement it is being provided so we are providing the longitudinal reinforcement that is the main reinforcement that is 10 mm dia about 150 mm center to center as well as these are the distribution steel bars which is 8 mm dia about 175 mm center to center so in this only we have designed the flight bc as it was given in the question so if you want you can design this uh, similarly we can design uh, what you can say this portion also we can design this portion ab as well as we can design this portion dc on the similar guidelines what we have done just now